This week on Dateline Schools, we're learning about the social work program that's being implemented in school districts throughout St. Clair County to help support our students and staffs as well. And to tell us about it, my special guest is the coordinator of the 31N program here at St. Clair County, RESA, Maura McCartan. And, and Maura, I know you guys don't just walk into a school and say, hey, here we are, what can we do? Yeah. How are students referred to you for services and support? Well, we really believe in a in making this a collaborative and a team effort. So we really try to um, integrate ourselves as much as we can into that school community. And so that means working very closely with school staff and school administrators. Um, and so the way that we, I mean, because the school administrators, they know their kids, the school counselors, the school social workers, they know their kids very well. And they know the ones that may have um, some needs that aren't being able to be addressed in a traditional way in the school setting. Um, and so we primarily get our referrals through those types of individuals, um, the ones that, that really know the student population. Uh, so it's very collaborative in, in how we, we go about finding the kids. Do Can parents even request services too? Sure. And I think that that's something, you, you know, that um, I would encourage parents to reach out to their school principals or their school counselors um, to kind of get that conversation going. Um, because that would be, you know, that would be ideal. Um, because again, we all work together and we all collaborate together and parents are just as much a part of that team as anybody else. So my guess is, too, you're able to work with these students more than just once or twice a month type of thing. How, yeah. how, how long can you work with these kids? Yeah. So, you know, we can essentially work with them um, indefinitely. Typically, um, and when we put together what's called a treatment plan, so it's kind of similar to if a student were going to outpatient services for counseling or therapy or, or you know, however, uh, you know, a person may want to phrase that. Um, so typically depending on the needs of the student, and it always varies, um, but typically it can you know, be once a month, uh, once a week, twice a month, you know, it kind of depends on the needs of the student, but it's a bit more of a, of a, of a therapy type session um, uh, as opposed to uh, more of an academic type focus. So it's, it's just a different lens that we're able to provide services through. Right. We'll continue the conversation tomorrow for Dayline Schools, I'm Terry Harris.